Hey guys, Ryu here, and this one is the last part of this uh, series of tutorials for uh, beginners. And in this one, we're going to be talking about editing of your render, which is really important, which is why I uh, wanted to put it in a separate video to emphasize that. So, why is it important? Well, this render, I just give it a very, very simple edit. And the difference is, you know, quite striking, yeah. And literally I spent like, you know, I don't know, 10 minutes on it or something, okay? You know, nothing really fancy, all right? But you can see how much of a difference you can make. And let's go through this, okay? First of all, what I did is, and I, I was using add-ons for uh, Photoshop uh, because, you know, they just get me there faster. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what I used. Uh, so first of all, use Infinite Color to find it um, interesting palette of colors for my render an infinite color just simply adds um, elements that are you know you can add from Photoshop separately like curves which are basically here and then you got uh, color balance which can be found here then you got selective color gradient map color lookup they're all in here okay you know you know they come with different settings and they do different things okay so if you're gonna disable them or enable them one by one you see they do different things but you can set them up individually if you want to buy infinite color is a fantastic add-on it costs about hundred dollars but you know i use it for every single fucking render so i really recommend you get it if you're serious about your portfolio then i added some contrast to it uh, so you can see that I did some contrast to it and I simply use another plugin called uh, Nick Collection so if I go to Nick Collection and get my Color Effects Pro 4 which is something I use almost all the time and there is a fantastic uh, fantastic uh, plugin called Pro Contrast okay and this one will allow you to do some really interesting things with your render like for example open contrast on them quite violently if you really want to right so i use that then we got some fog which is really easy to add all you need to do is add a layer and then simply download some brushes from the internet and install them in photoshop and uh, i got tons of them some of them are purchased some of them are free and um, this is actually from a paid pack but you can grab them for free so you know brushes like this wait a bit not this one these ones right um, so there you go. Let's say grab something like this and select the bright tone from the scene. Zoom it out, make it larger and click. And you got yourself a fog, okay? This one is a little bit faint, so let's in increase the flow here and boom, right? You got yourself a fog with literally one click. And then you can press Ctrl T to resize it, you know, and then hold shift and kind of, you know, fix your fog or whatever you want. It's really easy guys, okay, you don't have to do it in Blender, you can do it in Photoshop. So there's a fog and there's, you know, some more effects stuck in more fog and this is actually a vignetting. Uh, so what I did is I went here to shift Control alt e to create another layer. On top of it, go to camera roll. There you go. Uh, let's make it smaller and go to effects here and you can just simply vignette it like that. You could also add some... Uh, clarity or click on the brush here and add clarity locally when I use clarity I usually use shadows as well I open them up because clarity makes things a bit more uh, punchy and you can do something like this right and then press ok boom and you got this kind of an effect you see you, you're redirecting attention from uh, from the sides to the center right and you know you can play with it and finesse it and, and you know make sure that it works for you i did some text on top of it okay and then i simply added some more smoke and a bit more contrast to open up the middle and that's it you know and you can use these simple tools i showed you mostly uh camera roll filter clarity and you know all these sliders and then i use plugins a lot okay i use Nick Collection is all the time. A Color Effects Pro and Vivez, I, I would recommend them very, very highly to you. Um, they are fantastic plugins, and of course, Infinite Pro. If you want to spend more money, you can also get Onyric, which is a fantastic plugin for adding lights. So let me show you how it works. Onyric is just genius. Um, I use it uh, quite a lot recently. Uh, let me just collapse it here. I don't even know if I can collapse it. Um, 
I don't think I can collapse it guys so I'm just gonna keep it like that but you know all I do is simply draw a mask okay on areas that I want to you know kind of add some bloom right and so let's just add some bloom here I'm, I'm not very accurate it just doesn't matter and you can add some bloom with it so you can you know ex increase exposure or you can increase threshold the you can see the bending here because the preview here is an 8 bit but the out uh, the output's gonna be in 16 bit so it's gonna be much smoother you can change the color of it as well if you want you can do a lot of stuff with this one okay you know you can have a lot of fun right the saturation is crazy there you go that's better but i don't want these lights to change colors so i'm not gonna be colorizing that okay just gonna use the default and then simply save press one for layer number one and we're gonna you know on is gonna save that and boom and you got you know this uh, kind of an effect here okay so you can add bloom in photoshop with ease all right there's much more functions to it than that but you know just saying look it up if you don't mind spending some money it's about 100 bucks it's brilliant to show you how important editing is, I'm going to show you one of the um, the edits I did uh, recently. This is a render of this uh, spaceport. And you can see that my editing was quite extensive in here. There's a lot of layers, about 40 layers or something. So I did a bit of work on that one. But if I show you before and after, you can see why editing is important, yes. So, you know, you get something really basic in, in, in Blender uh, and then... You know you can have some fun in photoshop if you want to so you can do a lot in photoshop all right just saying so guys um, um study photoshop or, or any other program that you want like affinity photo or whatever the hell you want to use like gimp doesn't matter what you do just you need to be proficient in the program right and learn how to edit your shit because that's what the client's gonna see if you're gonna post this they're gonna be you know they're just gonna keep scrolling through art station okay keep browsing all right and um this is not gonna get you jobs okay this will get you jobs because that's what they want to see they want to see the final product okay you know when you chase chicks you don't want to see them sweaty and dirty you want to see them you know properly pimped you know yeah slappable basically so anyway guys that's it for this one thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed the series hope you learned something useful you can always join our discord um the link is in the video description it's a blender bros discord where you can post your questions and, and uh, problems if you run into any. There's a lot of helpful people we also there, so if you tag us, we're just gonna you know be able to see that. And uh, there is a link to a very good ebook uh, that we created for you guys. It's an ebook and that uh, will sh uh, teach you some basics on in Blender. It's really cool format, it's about 80 pages with a lot of cool information. So if you like you know book format. Uh, have a go um, if you grab that book we're gonna send you some interesting emails with additional free content so it's really worth it go for that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one